We get a couple pieces. It's been more than a labor of love for Sabin Howard. When you hear the word in service of, that's what I feel I'm in service of. A New Jersey sculptor who with each carve remembers and honors the brave Americans who have fought in the First World War. Because I realize how much suffering has gone into their experience and how little caring is involved in our society towards people that have actually sacrificed. Sabin is an avid sculptor. He was chosen by the World War I Centennial Commission to create a national memorial to remember a war they feared would be forgotten. Then he leads the battle charge. After that, you have the cost of war. Here he is, transformed, shell-shocked. It's called A Soldier's Journey. Five scenes, 38 figures, every story deeply personal and emotional, especially for veterans like Wilfred Selby, a medic who treated soldiers wounded in combat. And as he looks at the faces of these sculptures, he can't help but feel overwhelmed. It's, it's very emotional, what you were trying to do. Saban has been sculpting since August of 2019. He has a four-year sculpting period, and as each section is completed, it's taken to a foundry where it's cast in bronze. By December of 2023, a soldier's journey is expected to be completed, and it will be shipped to the National Mall in Washington, D.C., to the World War I Memorial Park for a special unveiling on Memorial Day of 2024. This is only 27 feet out of 60. Sabin's hands still have a lot of work ahead of them, but for this artist, it's the least he can do to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice, who lived this journey, a soldier's journey. Once a veteran, always a veteran. In Englewood, New Jersey, Richard Giacobis, Fox 5 News.